coverage you can count on continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Everett Lau. All right, tonight's the night for the stargazers. The Perseid meteor shower is going to peak tonight, and tonight's the night when you could see up to 100 meteors per hour. Sometimes it's going to be less, they vary, uh, but you're going to just want to look up. There's no certain direction you need to see, and make sure you get away from city lights because you don't want any of that light pollution, and allow for about 30 minutes for your eyes to adjust. So that way you're adjusted to the dark and you can see more of them. And the good news is this year the moon's only about 10% illuminated, so it's not going to be distracting too much. So again, the Perseid meteor shower peaking tonight. Tomorrow night also going to be an okay night, but I think we'll have more clouds to deal with, so Tonight's the night if you want to go try to catch a look at those meteors anytime after sunset and especially as we approach dawn, that's when you can take a glance up in the sky. Now, as you look at the Storm Team 10 Storm Tracker, there are a few clouds out there this evening, but notice we have a mostly clear sky in place. We have a weak little boundary coming through and that sparked off a few spotty showers. Uh, we can zoom in and take a close look where some of that is and just see just a few little isolated downpours here in Putnam County and right on the Park Putnam County line. So we can't rule out a few more of those isolated showers as we go through the evening, but many of us going to be able to make it through the rest of the night on the dry side. Now it is very warm and it's still humid out there. This boundary that's going to come through, going to try to cut down on our humidity just a bit, but still 89 up in Rockville and Washington, 87 here in Terre Haute and Sullivan, 87 also in Newton. Paris is at 87 and it's currently 86 in Casey and in Linton. So as a look at future cast going through the rest of the evening, again, as that boundary continues to sink its way to the south, can't rule out a few more of those spotty showers, maybe a rumble of thunder. We're expecting a partly cloudy sky through the night. We should have enough breaks that you'll be able to see those meteors, and that's going to at least last until the first part of Sunday. Then I think we're going to gradually see our clouds increase over the course of the day tomorrow. So I still think we'll see a fair amount of sunshine, but especially as we get into the afternoon, clouds are going to start to build in ahead of our next system. Can't rule out a spotty shower over the course of the day Sunday, but the best chance of rain is going to come once we get to the evening and then going into tomorrow night, and the better chances with this round are going to be focused farther to the south. So future cast not really showing much activity tomorrow night, but we are tracking what could be a complex of thunderstorms that grazes the southern part of the Wabash Valley. So we're going to keep a close eye on that as we go over the next 24 hours. And then as we get into the day on Monday, once again, the possibility of a few more scattered showers and some thunderstorm activity. Notice Futurecast trying to bring in another line of storms as we get into Monday afternoon. So we still have a couple days that we're going to have to keep an eye out for the chance of some rain, but there will be some dry time if you're going to be doing any outdoor activities. And with the system coming through tomorrow, the Storm Prediction Center does have a slight risk for some of those storms turning straight especially in the southern part of the Wabash Valley. The rest of us under that marginal threat, so can't rule out a stronger storm, but the greatest chance is definitely farther to the south as of now. So for tonight, dropping down to 64, so a pretty comfortable night. If you're going to be going out looking for some of those shooting stars, we'll be under a partly cloudy sky with a north breeze becoming light towards sunrise. Then tomorrow, 86, so a touch cooler than it was today thanks to that cloud cover that builds in. Again, can't rule out a spotty shower, but the better chance of rain tomorrow comes during the overnight hours, especially south of I-70. Lows will drop into the mid-60s. And the seven-day forecast shows once this front comes through on Monday, check out those temperatures. 79 on Monday, 75 and sunny on Tuesday, 79 Wednesday, and then we'll see highs gradually make their way back up through the 80s, so a nice stretch of weather once we get into the new week.